Kingfish here, and I am uh, back in Microsoft Simulator uh, 2020. Uh, today I wanted to uh, go over or, or show you a couple of uh, new DLCs I purchased through the uh, marketplace, and one is the, uh, I hope I say this right, the Jabiru. J160 and 170 uh, that's by Iris Simulations it's a small trainer that is very popular down in Australia and the other which I'm always a sucker for is uh, uh, PAWG uh, the Wrangell Airport in Alaska so I'm going to show you that and uh, yeah so let's uh, go ahead and get started let's go to the hangar and take a look at uh, the uh, airplane there it is. That's the Jabiru uh, J160D. Uh, the uh, it's a nice looking little aircraft. I've flown it a couple of times already, and it really is well built. It's by Iris Simulations, and they've always done a pretty good job on planes from my uh, FSX experience. Uh, if we take a look on the inside, uh, here we go not much for that Sun uh, see if we can get that centered there a little bit now the J160 is all the conventional uh, controls and uh, gauges so uh, uh, yeah it's a very very uh, uh, comfortable uh, plane it's very simple and pretty straightforward so there we go there's that uh, there we go there's a better shot of it uh, they've got that hangar closed. Uh, so there, you can see the instruments and whatnot on, on that. Uh, let's go back to the outside view. And we can swing around a little bit. And, yeah, nice, nice looking little airplane. Let's uh, take a look at the 170. There we go. Uh, focus here pretty quick there it is uh, again uh, very similar uh, it uh, handles uh, they're both almost identical and so let's get here where you can see the controls before that door opens up uh, again here's your yoke right here and uh, yeah uh, it's got uh, the uh, uh, modern the glass cockpit in essence that's the two planes that I got. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, get uh, uh, out and get a flight set up. So once I am set up and sitting on runway 28, actually, I'm going to scratch that. I'm going to sit up on the other runway and then uh, we can cruise around because it's a lot closer to the hangar. And then we'll take a short uh, flight right around that area and you can kind of see what uh, Brangle looks like right there. I'll be back in the, uh, uh, a minute or two. Okay, so we are back here at, uh, uh, at the airport and I am, let me, uh, there we go. There is, oh, you get a knee pad in this, uh, uh, with this airplane with Iris. And I have not played around with it, but it gives you a lot of, uh, I guess it gives you the ability to be able to help plan out your flights a lot, a lot better. Uh, we're not going to get into the, it's, uh, all the details of it, but as you can see, the cockpits are all well, uh, put together. Uh, you have everything that, uh, th uh, there's your throttle control, uh, your fuel pump, your strobe lights. Here, let me, let me get farther back here. Again, there's your yoke, uh, your, uh, trim. Yeah, it should be popping up here. Come on. That's your pitch and trim. So yeah, uh, let's uh, take an outside look at it again. 
and there it is so we're going to take a quick flight around and then we will taxi in and, and look at the airport itself so let's go ahead and uh, get started here I'm not going to go through all the details of uh, ATC uh, you kind of just I think you're probably more interested in just seeing the airport so let's go ahead and uh, release the brake uh, let me kind of get set up a little bit here and let's go ahead and uh, take off Flaps up. Okay, so you can kind of see the. Uh, I'm using a joystick here. Let's see if I can kind of move them around a little bit. You can see the plane in flight. And you can kind of see the surrounding scenery here in Wrangell. So, from the standpoint of the airport itself, I think they've done a really good job. I looked at some images online, and the uh, images match pretty darn close. So let's uh, swing around. Uh, let's start kind of leveling off here. start swinging around. So Wrangell is in southeast Alaska. It is down along the, the coast. Uh, the only way to get to it is by air or by sea so uh, just like a lot of Alaska uh, villages and stuff uh, and cities it's really kind of a seaport all right uh, let's get uh, straightened out here a little bit slow her down let's take another look outside So there you can kind of get a, a view of the uh, airport itself and that is pretty darn close to what I saw in the images so I think uh, from the standpoint of the airport itself it is pretty accurate. Uh, some of the details on that uh, airport it's got a 6,000 foot runway uh, and uh, uh, it's asphalt. And uh, from what I can tell uh, from the most recent images, it is uh, pretty, pretty accurate. Pretty, pretty accurate. So uh, yeah, it, now you kind of get a uh, flight, a feel for this uh, little trainer uh, airplane as well. Uh, I am kind of impressed with it. It's uh, been kind of fun to fly. And so we're going to swing around here. Actually, let's go back out a little bit. So you can kind of see the area. This is down in southeast Alaska. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been down in this part of Alaska. I uh, go up every year. Oh, I'm going to level off here. Uh, I go up every year to the interior. So. All right, I better get back inside. Let's get this. Let's swing back around so we can land this thing. But I go back. I go to the interior in the summertime and spend uh, uh, a week or two up there. Hope to spend a lot longer this year. So uh, yeah, I'm always a sucker for an Alaska airport.
actually I've uh, calculated this fairly correctly. Let's get swung around here. We should start seeing the airport. There it is. Alright, uh, I better uh, get drop some elevation here. Let's get lined up a little bit better. Let's get some flaps set. Let's see if we let's see if I can pull this off. end up a little long, but that's okay. We're still going to be able to get landed here. I know it's a little steep coming in, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll be able to get down on pavement here. Let's get lined up a little better. Uh, my joystick is really sensitive. Whoa. That wasn't one of my best landings, that's for darn sure. Let's see if we can get stopped here. Yeah. Don't, uh, don't criticize the uh, flying. I'm not here to try to show you all the flying stuff on it. I'm here to show you the airport and the, the uh, aircraft itself. So, uh, so yeah, so let's uh, cruise in over here. And again, the number of outbuildings and whatnot uh, match pretty darn close to the airport. So I'm very impressed with the airport. It uh, is well done, well scaled and everything. So I think they've done a great job on it. And uh, you can kind of see what uh, is here. So both of these are in the uh, marketplace. That's where I had picked both of them up at. And uh, uh, we'll kind of tool around here a little bit to get a view of it. And then uh, that'll be about it for the video. So you can see they've got aircraft sitting here at the uh, airport. Let's uh, kind of just stop right here. And we can kind of, so here you go, you can kind of get a good view of what, what it actually looks like. And let's, uh, let's cruise over here a little bit. Let's go over here a little bit and you kind of see what we have. Kind of look at the terminal. Alaska Airlines services this uh, uh, city and or this uh, uh, airport. So I think they've got a flight in once a day or once every other day, something like that. Uh, uh, this is, they just got this is one thing, they got guys just kind of standing around everywhere. We'll kind of just cruise on by him. And let's see if we can kind of stop right here. And this is down by the main terminal. Kind of see. This is where Alaska comes in. I think we're going to do a screenshot right here. There we go. I can use that for my uh, uh, thumbnail. Anyway, so uh, this is uh, PAWG Wrangell Airport and the new uh, Jabiru, I don't hope I'm saying that correctly. Please correct uh, if I'm saying it wrong. Uh, the J160 and the J170. 
again a nice little little aircraft for uh, uh, just uh, uh, training around in flying around in very easy to handle and it's by Iris Simulations uh, PAWG is by DC uh, scenery design so uh, yeah I would recommend them they see uh, they're both pretty nice uh, uh, DLCs all right I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do hit that thumbs up it helps the video out a lot and please subscribe uh, I'm going to be doing more as I purchase more I think it uh, uh, will uh, uh, be putting those out there and uh, a few other things in um, uh, the simulator all right with that uh, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video.